beautiful Capricorn, this is Tammy from Spot on Psychic Readings. I wanted to come in and do a reading for you because I haven't been here for you for a while and I've had a lot of requests for Capricorn. So let's see what's coming for you guys, okay? I don't have my usual setup <laughs> because it's Thanksgiving and I had to uh, do some rearranging. So uh, bear with me here, okay? <laughs> All right, here we go. Let's see what's coming for you, Capricorn. And we are looking at, um, you know, Thanksgiving week. Um, and generally from now into the first part of December. Okay. Let's see what's coming, Capricorn. <coughs> Alrighty, let's clear the energy. All right, here we go. Dive in right in Capricorn. Hope you guys are having a really good week. And um, if you're celebrating Thanksgiving, wishing you a very happy Thanksgiving. What about Capricorn? hot 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 energy um here's the temperance card very hot energy there for some reason and it's interesting because it's in the past position so we'll see what that means capricorn yeah Weird. all three of these have energy so I'm gonna take them <laughs> that's really unusual Capricorn and here's what you don't see coming okay here's the page of cups hope you can see these my lighting is not the best right now sorry like I said I'm um, I'm not in my usual studio at the moment <laughs> okay all right so here we go Capricorn let's turn these over I'm gonna get this first snapshot in time for you and then I'll do some clarification with this other deck to get you more details okay here's the three that came up Wow all three together okay well we'll get some clarification there it's really weird <coughs> excuse me Okay, so the first thing I'm seeing here, Capricorn, is um, what's significant around you might be business. Here's the King of Pentacles. So this is very much um, a card having to do with business or money, finances, and it's representing someone, um, potentially yourself or someone significant in your life who is connected with money or making money, uh, could be a financial advisor could be a businessman okay take that as it resonates could be a banker you know all sorts of um, financial things connected with this king of Pentacles who's also somebody who's very much in charge in control um, likes nice things you know is very um, stable financially okay it can also be an earth sign sometimes the Pentacles come up you know as, um, nature lovers or signs that you know that kind of thing now, at this time, Capricorn, it looks like you're going through a period of potentially insomnia. This is Nine of Swords, okay? Nine of Swords has to do with an energy that um, keeps you awake at night. Maybe you've got anxiety or worries about something. Maybe you're just not sleeping at night, and I feel like this is causing a conflict for you at this time. It's definitely in the challenge or conflict position, okay? And we'll, I'm sure we'll see more about this as we go on, okay? Now, what's kind of um, in your aura at this time, Capricorn, is Empress energy. And this could be you or this could be your person that you're thinking about, okay? But this energy is someone who can be a mother. And I always say the Empress is someone who um, gives birth to babies or empires, okay? She brings things to fruition. She's a great manifester. 
Um, very much a nature lover, kind of like the King of Pentacles, likes nature, likes children, likes pets, uh, likes her nice things, her nice home. She's very, what I want to say, self-actualized, okay? And I feel like this is what's kind of above you in your aura, what you're thinking about at this time. Either who you want to be or someone you admire, this is something very much in your thoughts and in your aura at this time, Empress. Deeper down, there is a success card, which is the Ten of Wands. This success, though, comes hard won. <laughs> you can see how this person's kind of tired and worn out. Like, this success came from you working really hard, and you may have just worked yourself into the ground. This can be also the card of burnout. And I feel like in trying to be this Empress, or catch up with this Empress, or thinking about something, you know, you wanting this Empress energy, You've also um, maybe just worked too hard. You know, the success is there. I mean, this is definitely showing success cards all around in your energy, but some tiredness, you know, going along with it. There seems to be this temperance card moving into your past influences. Um, might be active right now, but I feel like it's on its way out or maybe already on its way out. And um, the temperance card has to do with a flow of energy and things not being extreme, a very peaceful flowing sort of energy, okay? And this card can also represent Sagittarius, okay? Now, coming up in your near future, I feel like you're having to make a decision about a new path. Here's the Fool card. And the Fool has to do with um, a whole new path, but it did come up upside down for some of you. And this Fool card is very much having to do with feeling like you want a new path, but Maybe you're hesitant to go down this path, or maybe you aren't sure what's down that path, and um, it's a matter of maybe your path is blocked at this time. You want some sort of a new beginning, a whole new journey, but it's, it's just not happening, and I feel like this is in your immediate future. This is definitely coming up either this week or this month for you, Capricorn, okay? Now, <clears throat> it's right next to this Queen of Wands energy. Now, this is in your more extended future Capricorn. This could represent you and your energy or your person, okay? And it's more in the extended future. So this would be an energy that you're either bringing in um, into yourself or this could be somebody who you're going to be meeting, okay? The Queen of Wands, and take it as it resonates because in a collective reading, um, you know, this could be a king of wands. This could be a queen of pentacles, <laughs> okay? So feel free to switch the roles as they fit you because I can't do that on all the cards for everybody, every reading, okay? So this queen of wands is a very warm energy, sometimes a fire sign, you know, Aries, Leo, Sag, um, a lot of warmth, a lot of fire, a lot of passion. And I always say she's kind of the superwoman of the deck. She's the person who does home and her career and takes care of pets and takes the kids everywhere and you know it's like if you want something done hand it over to a queen of wands she'll get it done okay so this is definitely somebody who's very busy and very passionate about what they do you know they have a fire lit under them and they exude a lot of warmth and a lot of magnetism okay and again this could be an aspect of you but I think it's more someone who's in your future Capricorn. This is like maybe a whole new energy coming in. If, if you don't know who this is, it's probably a whole new energy that's coming in for you. Um, now, this is where it gets really weird <laughs> and complicated and confusing, okay? Because I've never had this happen before. Now, this is representing um, you, how other people see you, Capricorn, at this time. They see you in th as three different people, potentially. They're seeing three different aspects of you. All three of these cards, this is really weird. This has never happened before. All these cards came up at once. So let me tell you about these. Um, the first card is the Eight of Cups, reversed, okay? This is um, you potentially not saying goodbye to something that you should. Uh, maybe people see you as you should leave a situation that you're staying in for too long. Maybe you've stayed there too long. Maybe you should move forward. And again, this is views of others. This is how other people are kind of, how they're kind of picking up on you at this time. And the Eight of Cups is the card saying goodbye, moving on, but it's reversed. So it's like other people are like, 
maybe he or she should just get out of that situation or should say goodbye to that or maybe they should move or relocate okay um, the next thing that came up is judgment reversed <laughs> all three of these cards came up reversed okay um, someone Capricorn is seeing you like you're getting bad karma and um, take that as it resonates okay but this is again this is not necessarily what I'm saying is happening for you this is what I'm saying other people are seeing in you okay so somebody somebody around you sees you with bad karma you can think through who that is we might get some more information on that as we go along um, anyway this is also the card of um, somebody being stuck or somebody having unfair legal things go on maybe there's an unfair um, somebody seeing you with some sort of a legal situation or something like that shown with judgment like you've been judged wrongly it could be that too okay and the last thing is this is the uh, seven of wands this is the card of feeling like um, you're not winning at this time you know feeling like you're losing at this time and there's somebody seeing you in that light there's somebody I feel like views of others again someone else is seeing you as um, maybe they feel like you gave up too soon on something or maybe you, they feel like you lost in this legal suit that was um, upside down or your bad karma maybe they think you have bad karma I'm not saying you have bad karma okay I want to make that clear I'm saying this is views of how other people are seeing you and there's a reason all these things came up together okay <laughs> I hope that made sense this is really complicated because it's never come up that way before but this is how someone is feeling about your energy at this time okay all right now back to you <laughs> this is um knight of wands here this is the relocation and moving card I feel like you want to move this is something about um, hoping you can go somewhere else this is things up in the air and this is your hopes card hopes and fears but this is not a fear this is a hope and this is you hoping like I hope I can move on I hope I can just move somewhere I want to move I want to move okay you know it showed up with this fool card as well reverse like you're you want to move forward on your path you want a new journey but it's being blocked so you're hoping you can actually relocate your final outcome and this is interesting this is um, justice reversed Capricorn and justice reversed can have a couple of different meanings here okay this is the final outcome of this snapshot in time okay so this justice reverse can be something that's out of balance in your life this can also represent something um, like a lawsuit um, or something legal which also showed up here we've got justice and judgment all right um, both upside down like there's been some sort of unfair legal thing um, happening in your life or something that's really out of balance and this can also represent Libra energy okay now there's um, what you don't see coming is this new person this new friend okay this is page of cups this can sometimes represent someone who is gay or lesbian okay so keep that in mind it can for some of you represent someone who is going to be a friend at first and then goes romantic okay like um, a new attraction and that kind of thing this can also represent children sometimes uh, this is you know the card of child childish behaviors or um, literally children it can represent children and we'll see we'll get some more details about this it has multiple meanings obviously and it can also be a message you might be getting a message from someone interested in you in some way okay so Capricorn let's clarify <laughs> this reading brought up a lot of questions for me and maybe it did for you too so let's see if we can answer some let's see why there's a nine of swords um, there let's see why why are you having um, sleepless nights what is causing you a conflict that's causing you anxiety at this time <coughs> because there are delays for one thing
something's really stuck. There's something here about this Two of Swords energy and it's just really, really stuck at this time. Sorry, I had an interruption there. Okay, so the Two of Swords is clarifying the Nine of Swords, okay? So this is how this is what's keeping you maybe awake at night, causing some kind of a conflict as you're not sleeping. Anxiety causing a conflict. And it's clarified by a situation. <laughs> it's clarified by a situation that um, is a real tug of war. I feel like there's been something, some situation that just can't get resolved. Like there can't be an agreement, there's no resolution and there's a real tense kind of situation here and something blocking your path forward i feel like everything keeps blocking your path forward and it's giving you a lot of anxiety capricorn um enough to keep you awake at night you know could have to do with some sort of a separation this is a heartache or a separation this three of swords this is also, again, I'm clarifying what's giving you anxiety, keeping you awake at night, creating a conflict. Um, I feel like there's no resolution over this um, Three of Swords, okay? There's something here very strongly about a breakup or heartache, um, feeling stabbed in the heart, and something that is probably not fair legally for you, and it's really keeping you awake at night. This Eight of Wands energy is usually a fast-moving energy, but it's reversed, and it's something about things have been delayed regarding a separation, and it's made everything stuck in this Two of Swords energy. It's like um, Two of Swords is just like this tense situation where it's a tug of war. You, know, you can't move forward, you can't move back, that kind of thing. Let's clarify... The piece I see now, if there's a, if this is right, if there's a separation for some of you, and I know it is, or the cards wouldn't have come up this way. If there's a separation for you, um, I see why your peacefulness, your flowing peace and tranquility is going into the past. Let's ask more about why is your path so blocked? Because we've got blockages, 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 um, a lot of wanting to move and blockages. What's that about? Upside down star card, like you're losing hope, like you're um, feeling like the stars are not aligning for you. Ooh, here's a king of swords reversed, gave me the chill bumps. Very cold energy, very cold energy. And a queen of wands reversed. And I'm asking what's blocking you from moving or getting out or moving forward. There's temperance again. Okay. So Sag, um, sorry, this is Sag. Um, the Sag card came up. Okay. Temperance again. So here's the thing. I'm asking what's blocking you Capricorn. The star reversed came up, which is you're just feeling like things are not lining up for you. Like why are the stars not lining up for me? Why is there no divine intervention or why are my angels not helping me? You know, it's that kind of feeling with the star reversed. Kind of like you're losing hope, like you feel like there's no help, you know. There's these two characters that I um, that are coming up in the cards: Queen of Queen of Wands reversed and King of Swords reversed. I feel like this is the couple. This might one of these is probably you, Capricorn, um, <clears throat> and the other one's your person that you're having this heartache and separation from that's keeping you awake at night. And somehow there is this. Uh, temperance that came up again here's temperance here temperance came up twice it's really talking to you again this could be um, some sort of interference from Sagittarius you know sign the sign of Sagittarius and it's it's also just having to do with wanting that peace and it's not there I mean when these two came up upside down let me tell you about these a little bit the king of swords reverse can be a really difficult nasty character this can be somebody abusive you know, even verbally abusive, the gaslighter, you know, this is somebody who's scheming, somebody that um, can be very narcissistic, that kind of energy. And this queen of wands energy is someone who um, 
is very angry when she, very angry and demanding when she's upside down. So I feel like these two are really clashing, okay? And this is why there is a separation, heartache, um, that kind of thing going on. Looks like a tough situation, Capricorn. I mean, I'm just gonna be honest. I, you know, I keep it real in these readings. I'm not sugarcoating these cards. I'm just telling you what I'm picking up on here. And it's pretty clear. It is, it's pretty clear about this, what's keeping you awake at night. Let's ask more about the legal. Is this a legal situation? What's happening, what's happening there? We've got Page of Wands reverse. That can be upsetting bad news. Upsetting bad news about legal things. Oh, and here's this Ten of Wands again. This is twice it's come up. Um, here it is too. It came up in your energy. It's coming up regarding the legal stuff. So there's something here about, yeah, there's success, but it's really worn you out. There's a real tired feeling with like burnout. There's a real burnout kind of thing. Um, and I feel like if you're in some sort of a legal situation, you're feeling really tired and burnt out from it. You're, you're like over it. <laughs> that may well be what's blocking you from moving forward, plus this uh, separation. I, I just feel like there's such a tug of war about moving out of a situation. Let's see what else they say. Yeah, there's juggling. It's, this can be juggling money or juggling people, um, Capricorn. You may be juggled. You know, you may be in a situation where you're the one being juggled or you're having to juggle things, money, accounts, things like that, okay? Oh, wow. Okay, here's five of wands. Yeah, okay, they're clarifying this. Five of wands is a competition. Five of wands is very much having to do with um, being placed in a competition, being juggled, okay? And you, you may or may not know you were placed in a competition. You know, sometimes that goes, um, you're put in one and you don't even know it <laughs> for years. You know, I mean, it can happen. I see it in my readings all the time. This is some sort of a mock battle. This is something about um, game playing. You know, there's a lot of game playing going on with this and juggling and um, just a lot of emotional gaming that I see with this. Gaslighting. You know, a lot of gaslighting going on between if this is the couple, um, if you recognize who this couple is, you know, I think you'll understand what I mean. You know the term gaslighting. And I, I feel like there's a lot of gaslighting going on with this competition and all this. A lot of petty kind of stuff that I feel that's happening to you or around you at this time. Capricorn, what else do you need to know? <clears throat> this has turned out to be a kind of heavy, deep reading, but honestly, I, I, um, I'm just giving you what I see here. I'm not trying to be hard on you guys, Capricorn. Don't get mad at the messenger. I'm just um, looking into what I'm seeing. I'm just telling you what I'm seeing here. So this may not be, every I mean, it's not, it's not everybody's reading, obviously, but if it's your reading, you'll know. You know, you'll feel it. This is for somebody out there. Oh, here's um, Page of Swords. There's somebody in this picture who's watching you. And again, remember if these three cards came up where views of others, how some people, how people are seeing you, feel like they're spying on you. This is the spy card for sure. And they're seeing you um, and wishing you bad things. You know, I mean, I'll just be honest. This Page of Swords is a nasty little energy. You know, kind of wants to cause trouble, but it does it from a distance. You know, it's very covert. Okay, they're changing gears here. Thank goodness, Capricorn. There's some kind of a new beginning, passionate new beginning with this Ace of Wands. Mm. Be careful of an offer that's too good to be true. Or be careful of somebody. Somebody in this picture doesn't want you to have a new beginning, for one thing. And this, when this Knight of Cups comes up reverse, this is an energy that can be a player, can be somebody who's very um, undependable, you know, just kind of tell you what you want to hear. They lie, <laughs> they lie, they cheat, they don't care. Just very undependable. And this might be somebody luring you into a new beginning. I would be very wary of that. Be really careful of that energy. Whoa. 
and Capricorn, here's Seven of Swords. Um, this is also, you're getting some really bad energies here coming at you, okay, in your picture at this time. Seven of Swords is someone who is very sneaky. There's a really sneaky energy in here, somebody sneaking around, and also somebody that may steal something from you. Could be anything from emotional theft to actual material theft, okay? And this could also be going into whatever this legal stuff is. These legal cards that came up may have something to do with um, theft of some sort, okay? Or sneaky, sneaky, sneaky person, an offer that was too good to be true. You know, and something like that could go into a contract. You know, maybe you signed a contract that wasn't at all what they said it was. <laughs> You know, this can come up with offers, contracts, um, you know, somebody trying to rip you off in that way, and that could cause a legal thing. Obviously, I'm not, obviously, I'm not a lawyer. <laughs> I don't give legal advice, so I just want to make that disclaimer, because this is not legal advice. This is just, I'm reading the cards, I see justice and um, judgment. They represent legal stuff. I'm not giving any advice on this, okay? Um, four of Swords here. I feel like you're just so worn out with the situation, Capricorn. You just want to withdraw. You may have withdrawn. You may have just been recuperating. This situation could have made you ill. You could be sick from it, from the stress, especially if you're not sleeping. All this anxiety that came up earlier about creating a conflict for you something about just feeling really worn out and wanting to just take a nap but seriously it could have even caused hospitalization there could have been medical stuff that was needed medical treatment things like that oh here's the moon card hold on let me ask why they're pulling that moon for capricorn Well, in a month's time, there are going to be some new opportunities. I think the moon in this case is representing where to go in a month, okay? Sometimes the deception card, so keep that in mind. Here's the new opportunities with your um, two of wands. And there's something here about somebody feels like you owe them money because this is six of pentacles. So this is often um, needing to pay off debts or um something being taken from you money being taken from you that kind of thing okay this is a tough reading capricorn um wow when i came in to do this i wasn't quite excuse me i wasn't quite expecting all of this and um i do hope you appreciate my honesty and if it's not your reading it's not your reading you know if it is uh you'll you'll understand Usually people thank me for not sugarcoating readings because I don't. Um, just saying, you know, to give it to you like it is. Um, this is tough. This is this looks like a very tough situation that you might be in. Let me get final words for Capricorn here, okay? Do take good care of yourselves. I feel like you need to recuperate, you know? Huh, final words, here we go again. This card came up earlier, but I've got so many cards here now, I've lost it. Page of Cups, again. This is final words for Capricorn. And this Page of Cups has to do with maybe a new friend, maybe a new romantic friend. This could be, um, you know, represent somebody who's gay. This can also represent relationship with children, okay? Like, um, maybe you have children, maybe you're a parent that sort of thing. Maybe you're going to be connecting with kids soon in that, in that kind of way. But I feel like this is more a friend for you, like um, friendship that might have a little attraction or a little romance for you in that way. Okay. But this might be somebody younger. You know, this is part of why it represents these childlike kind of um, emotions and this can even be somebody who is childish you know an adult who's childish so it depends take it as it resonates but i'm more i'm getting the sense there's some kind of a new friend that is there for you 
potentially this Queen of Wands that came up earlier who may be younger or King of Wands, you know, take it as it resonates. And there's some kind of new money, uh, new, new beginning in money with this Ace of Pentacles coming up, some sort of money, a windfall even, things like that that are coming up. And here we go again. Um, this is, this can be childhood memories. This is Six of Cups. So this can be somebody from your past that you're thinking about, nostalgia, things like that. Or it can be you thinking about childhood or, um, cons you know, considering children, your children in this picture and that sort of thing. Six of Cups. So Capricorn, there's, there's a lot here because I haven't read for you all for a while. So, um, and like I said, I had a lot of requests for it. So I hope this was helpful for you. I'm not sure if there's anything else I missed that I need to tell you about. I think I covered everything pretty much. Yeah. Yeah. So I'll leave it there. And um, if you're celebrating Thanksgiving, I hope you have a wonderful Thanksgiving. Thanks for coming in today for your reading. And um, hopefully it won't be so long. Before I read for you again. If you did like this reading, please give it a like and a thumbs up and a, you know, subscribe and all those things because um, my Capricorn readings have not gotten pushed out by YouTube for some reason and they will push them out so you'll see them more often if you uh, click that like button and comment and all that stuff, okay? <laughs> all right, thanks a lot. I'll see you guys again soon. Bye.